Okay, so what I have here is a six million dollar man lunchbox, vintage 1970s. And as you can see, it's pretty well toast. Well, I got this for a present a while ago. Some uh, family, mem family members know I'm into vintage stuff, so they, they snagged this for a pretty decent price because these are really expensive on eBay. But because this is so messed up, I wouldn't say well-loved, but I think this one qualifies as neglected. But I'm going to try to fix it, at least a little bit. Now all this rust over here on the edges, I'm going to sand down and repaint. So it's not, this is not a restoration project. Well, it might be a little bit of restoration, but it's more like a, just making it look cool. It's not going to be original for sure, but this blue border here, I went to the store and found some blue paint that matches pretty closely. I'm hoping this will be a little darker once I get it sprayed, but I need to sand all this stuff off. But as you can see here, a lot of this is rusted on the inside too, and I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. But the paint is also just sort of peeling off, like right here, in spots. So it's very delicate. So I don't want any of this to come off when I use the masking tape to mask over this image. When I pull the tape off, I don't want this stuff coming off with it. So what I decided I'm going to do is clear coat the entire thing the entire lunchbox, all the way around, all the sides, everything. Build it up a little bit, and hopefully when I use the tape to mask off, the clear coat will protect everything underneath it. So what I'm going to do right now is clear coat the entire lunchbox, at least the parts you see around, the parts you see around here, the top and the sides. And then later on I'll come back and flip it over, clear coat the underside. And then, the bigger project is going to be this. Now there's nothing I can do about saving any of this graphic here. But I'm going to sand this entire inside and then repaint it with white. So it, I just want to stop all this rust from destroying the entire thing and make it look somewhat pretty and less rusty when I display it. So anyway, here we go. And I got a nice even coat on that. You can see some shine popping up there. And let that dry for an hour or so. Hit the side here, and this side over here. I don't want to get too much on there because it'll start running. So this is a nice, thin, even coat. And I'll probably do many, many coats. And hit this here. The handle's kind of in the way, so is that latch. A little bit on the side there. And on this side. And this corner. And this corner. You can see some shine to that. That's the clear coat. There we go. There's some nice shine. That's the clear coat. And luckily it's not peeling any of this paint off. Sometimes, especially if the paints are different, like this might be a screen printed enamel or oil paint. And sometimes if that first layer is different than the layer you're spraying on top of it, the paint underneath will start to peel up. But I don't see any of this paint this, where this rust is. That's exposed metal and the, the paint around it is susceptible to peeling. I don't see any peeling. And you can see a bunch of like 
rust bubbles and stuff under the surface. But you can also see that shine I got going on from the clear coat. Hopefully that will protect it. Doesn't seem to be damaging it any. So this is a work in progress. This will take me quite a while. I'll come back and make new videos of my progress and put together the entire project uh, in one big video. And you guys can see what this looks like when it's done. This should look really cool. All new blue borders. Nice shine over all this rusty sort of stuff. And uh, it should look a whole lot better on my shelf. It'd probably be a good five foot lunchbox. Look really good away from five foot away. Get up close to it, you'll start noticing all those <laughs> all those things. Little defects, but I'm gonna save it. It's cool. And I'm not paying a hundred bucks for a really nice one on eBay. I got this one this one as a gift and uh, I'm gonna preserve it and make it look a whole lot better for display.